Hey guys. All right, so we're gonna introduce Marley to the prong collar. Um, most important thing to understand about the prong collar is the prong collar will not stop her from pulling. Um, it's what feedback you give her every time she pulls. When dogs feel pressure on their necks, they're gonna pull regardless of what the tool is. Um, if they have a harness on, it just makes pulling easier for them. Um, but the collar, just because it's pointy, that's not gonna make her stop pulling. So what we're gonna be doing is giving her leash pops when she pulls to create a loose leash. So if we have any pressure on the, on the prong collar, then we're not gonna be able to communicate with her. So it's very, very, very important that we do not let her pull on the prong collar. So um, the prong collar fit is very important. It has to be at the highest point of her neck. Um, her regular uh, greenish blue collar, that's gonna sit here, prong collar is gonna sit above it. Because she's young, um, I'm gonna make it a little bit big on her, uh, but I'm sure she'll grow into that in like the next two weeks. So first thing I have to show her before even thinking about taking her outside is what does that collar mean? So I'm gonna just be kind of moving her around using food and letting her feel that pressure on, pressure off. Um, so whenever I talk about the prong collar, if I say pressure on, pressure off, it's just the prongs are engaging and then the prongs are disengaging. So activated, not activated, pressure on, pressure off. Marley, come, come. Good girl. Come. Pressure on, pressure off. Good girl. Molly, come. Pressure on, pressure off. Good. Marley, come. Come. Good. And at the same time, we're working on the word come. Marley, come. Good. Marley, come. Good. So when she gets to the end of the leash, I'm just putting it on, taking it off. Marley, come. Good girl. Good. So you see how already she's I've got her attention. She's not trying to move away too much right here. Come. Good girl. Come. Good. So now I'm going to start doing some leash pressure sits so that she really understands how to communicate through that collar. So I know she knows a regular sit. Come. So if I do a regular sit, it looks like this. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Um, make sure the girls, when they're doing sits with her, they don't have like the food over her head like that because you want her to pay attention to uh, them and not the food. So whenever we do a sit, the hand goes up to the, uh, up to the heart like this. Come, sit, good. Come, sit, good. So that's your basic sit. So now I'm gonna do a leash pressure sit. So leash pressure sit means, I'm gonna say the word sit, I'm gonna put pressure on the collar, and then the second she sits, I'm gonna release the pressure. So it's gonna be continuous pressure, and then the pressure goes away. Come, sit, pressure's on. Marley, sit. Good. So in the beginning, it's a little weird for them because they never felt a sit that had pressure attached to it. Come. Come. Marley, sit. Good girl. So the second the butt hits the ground, I release the pressure. Come. Come. Marley, sit. Good job, girl. Good mommy. Good girl. Come. Sit. Pressure's on and off. Good. Now she's starting to understand it. Marley, come. Sit. Good girl. Come. Marley, come. Sit. Good. So I'm not showing her the food until she completes the sit. 
So I'm not using the food, holding up the food, bribing her with the food. She's doing the sit and then I reward her. Riley, come. Come. Come on, good girl. Come on. Good girl. Sit. Ugh. Come. Sit. Good job. Come. Marley, come. Sit. Good girl. Come. Marley, come. Come. Sit. Good girl. Marley, come. Sit. Good job. Marley, come. Come. Good girl. Marley, sit. Good job, girl. Okay, now she is ready to go outside. And we're gonna kind of do the same kind of stuff like this, but outside of the driveway. Come. Good girl. Okay, before we go outside, I wanted to show you guys this. Um, the way you exit your door is extremely important, and this goes for both dogs. They need to know that when that door opens, they absolutely positively cannot pull outside the door. If they go outside like that, that's how your whole entire walk is gonna look. So instead, we're gonna make her wait at the door. I don't care if she sits, I don't care if she lays down, as long as she's not, there's no tension on her leash. Marley, come. Good girl. So as soon as I open the door, she's gonna go try to go through it, and I'm gonna give her a leash pop. Uh-uh, nope, nope. Good girl. Uh -uh, nope. Good. Come. Marley, come. Come on, good girl. Good. Uh -uh, nope. So even if you spend an extra minute at the door, it is so important that we do not let her pull out that door.
important that your arm is completely relaxed and hanging right at its side. You don't want to have any tension on that leash whatsoever. If you have any tension on that prong collar, she's going to start pulling. Come. Come. Good girl. Good job, girl. Anytime she starts to pull, I put pressure on, take it off. Come. Good girl, Marley. Good girl. Marley, sit. Good girl. All right, we're going to give her a break and bring her back out in five minutes. Come. Okay, to take this prong collar on and off, um, you see we've got this little plate here and this little plate here, the two side plates. So this prong here and this prong here are the easiest ones to open and close. So hold on, she's freaking out in the crate because she's taking a break for a second. So I'm just gonna go over, I'm gonna tell her no. Shh, pet corrector sprayed by her crate, make her be quiet. As soon as she does that again. Marley, no. Okay, so you're gonna take your thumb and flip your thumb over, completely flip it over. Push the prong up. Uh -uh, Marley, no. Um, you're gonna push it up and then you're just gonna kind of squeeze it off. To put it back together, you're gonna keep one prong still, take that prong and you're just gonna put it into one of the holes and squeeze. So aim it squeeze it so again hold on marley no we're gonna go right up squeeze it off and then squeeze squeeze up off squeeze squeeze when you put it around her neck it's going above the other collar and this one here with the swivel is the one that you're attaching her leash to. So when you're doing the sit, it's pressure on. As soon as she sits, pressure off. When you're walking her, as soon as she starts. Hold on. Hey, Marley, no. Hopefully you guys are crating her a lot and that she does not have any problems in the crate. Um, if she does, please let me know because right now most of her time should be in that crate. Um, when you're doing, anytime she starts to pull, you're going to do a little pop. Anytime she starts getting distracted, maybe a person's walking, something's on the ground, whatever, you're popping. Her face should never, ever, ever be on the ground. Her face should be up and you're giving her information through these pops. What you don't want is her walking like this because then she's just going to pull against the prongs the entire time. So you wanna have a loose leash so that anytime you could communicate with her, she can feel it and she could understand what you're trying to say. Okay, so she had a five minute break in the crate because it's a lot of work for a puppy, it's kind of stressful for a puppy and because it's hot as hell out. So I waited till she was absolutely quiet in the crate, no more complaining. Uh, we never, ever, 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 ever let the dogs out of the crate while they're whining or complaining because then they learn, that's what they do and then you'll let them out. So very important that when you let her out of the crate, you don't let her come out like a bat out of hell. So as soon as I open the door, um, if she tries to start moving towards it, I'm gonna close it firmly. And then I'm going to keep reopening it until she comes out calm as can be and not moving towards the door. Uh, uh, uh. So that would never get her out of the crate. So she goes back in. Uh, uh. And we do that again. Ah. Nope. So she sat down. She's like, hmm, maybe I need to sit to come out of here. Ah. So she's like, okay, the sit didn't work. Well, the sit would have worked if she didn't pop out of it. Good girl. So what I want her to see is the calm sit and the not moving towards the front of the crate is what let her out of the crate. 
So you don't have to say sit, you don't have to say stay, you don't have to say anything. You just want her to understand that she has to come out uh, calmly and she cannot be moving towards that door. If we let her be pushy and bossy in that area, we're gonna let her be pushy and bossy in a lot of areas. Okay, so we're gonna get the prong collar back on her. So I don't go following her around with the prong collar. I just have her on the regular leash and I open up the prong the way I showed you. I'm gonna go up around the neck. Hey Marley, come. come. Gotta make sure that prong collar is not twisted. It's very important that it's not twisted. And I gave her some water, wet her a little bit just to kind of cool her off, start fresh. Okay, before we go outside, I'm gonna refresh her memory. What does that pressure mean? Cup. Good. Cup. Good girl. Good. Cup. Good girl. Marley, sit. Good job. Good. Come. Sit. Good girl. Come. Good. Okay. And now we're going to make sure she doesn't pull through the door again. So we only do like seven minute drills. Come. Marley, come. Come, girl. So, door open. She's not allowed to go through it. Uh -uh. Good girl. Way better than before. Good girl. Now that I got her attention, she's not moving towards the door. Now we go outside. All right, now we're gonna walk a little bit further, but the goal in the beginning is not distance, it's quality. So I have to have a completely loose, loose leash. So no pressure on that collar at all. Anytime she's doing anything right there, she's pulling ahead, I do a tug and release. So I definitely don't want the girls walking her until she and you all have mastered how to understand the prong collar. Because once she starts pulling on the prong, you're not gonna be, uh, um, you're not gonna be able to fix that. Good. So right there. Perfect, perfect. Uh -uh. A little tug to ignore stuff. Lots of things to pick up. Good girl. And here, a little turn. Come. Every single time we turn, we say come. It's like, hey, come with me. Good job, girl. So when I do the sit, I'm gonna tell her wait first to get her to stop moving. Even though she doesn't know what wait means, she'll know what it means because I'll stop. Right there, way too much pulling. I do a tug and I'm gonna even do a turn there. Good. She has to know that you are not moving forward with tension on that leash. Come. Good girl. Wait, sit. Good job, girl, good. Break. Break is just a release. She starts to go a little bit of a head. I give a tug and release. Uh -uh. Good. Good. Wait. Sit. Good girl. The cars pass by.